When you think of mariachi, you may picture an ensemble dressed in their traditional charro outfits, playing upbeat music with guitars, strings, and horns, and singing in Spanish. However, behind this vague summation is a long lineage of musicianship, tradition, folklore, and oh yeah, not just one type of guitar, but three. In December, I visited Dallas to record a world-renowned group of mariachi musicians for a Splice exclusive sample pack that is unlike anything else that currently exists. We covered multiple subgenres like wapango featuring a rhythmic strumming of the vihuela, a stringed instrument which I'll get to later. We recorded ranchera, a slower, more ballad-like subgenre. Think of the legendary Vicente Fernandez who sang iconic rancheras like Volver, Volver and El Rey. Lastly, we recorded Bolero, a subgenre of ranchera known for its moody and romantic lyrics. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are three different types of guitars in mariachi music, the vihuela, guitarron, and guitarra, as well as violins and trumpets, with each instrument playing a distinct role in the music. While chemistry and teamwork are what makes the magic happen, each musician here has spent years studying not only their craft, but the history of the music, and mastering where their instrument fits into the ensemble. So my name is Jason Molina. I play la vihuela and the mariachi. La vihuela is a rhythmic instrument. It's it's the principal rhythmic instrument in mariachi music. Um, for me, I gravitated to it because I loved that there was an intricacy melodically. It was all intricacy in the rhythm side, and it was me and the guitarron player. So it's like a pair of us together. We were the foundation of the mariachi. So it was so much fun to play that role in mariachi for me. Es algo que sí genera mucha responsabilidad porque eres la base. O sea, tienes que tener consciente lo que es la armonía y lo que es la mel melodía porque lo que tú tocas tiene que darles un soporte a los demás. Entonces tu responsabilidad es la base, la estructura, el, el beat del grupo y el tiempo, sobre todo el tiempo. La dinámica del guitarrón en el grupo pues es súper importante. O sea, podría decirse que Si no hay un bajo, no hay un corazón, este no no puedes sentir la intención de la música. O sea, el lenguaje, la comunicación va amarrada por el por el guitarrón, por el bajo. I'm not sure where my passion for music came from. I, it was like a thing that I felt ever since I was like a kid. Like I think when I was around five, I had like a real broken little piano and like a really broken guitar. And something about it just like, I guess because there was no iPads back then, I had no choice but to be like, hey look, uh, that makes a noise and that makes a different noise. You know, so it, it was really cool to like grow like that. And it, it's always something that I appreciate because that's how I made a lot of friends and that's how I continue to make a lot of friends through music. Para mí la pasión de que viene de familia, de estar escuchando a mis hermanos, a mis primos, a, mis, a, mi, a mi abuelo. Mi abuelo era el director de una, una banda pues tradicional, pero de ahí viene el enfoque de, de escuchar a tantos músicos. Mariachi music uh, became my principal genre of performance uh, in the later 2000s because there was such a big need for capable musicians and educators at the same time. So ever since then, I've been studying mariachi and educating those behind me playing mariachi music. La música tradicional me, me, me llama mucho la atención por el folclore y porque se ha estado perdiendo lo que es la raíz, lo esencial de, de lo que es la música mexicana. Se ha ido deformando. Entonces, por esa razón empecé a, 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 a investigar, a trabajar, a, a estudiar 
los instrumentos que nos pertenecen y, y cómo hacerlos funcionales porque es fantástico, este instrumento tiene, tiene todo. The role that the violin plays in mariachi, it's the, it's the melodic instrument, right? The, the violin and the trumpet are the two melodic instruments, and it's really like the second voice of the mariachi. The role of the trumpet in the mariachi, más que nada, is el, pues es la presencia, ¿no? La musicalidad que del sonido o los cambios de timbre son los que me, me, me gustaron más, que a mí me apasiona o lo que me, a mí me me llena pues es también tratar de expresar a veces lo que con palabras no se puede. A veces uno tiene algo, algo guardado, algún sentimiento, algo, y no encuentras cómo soltarlo. Y yo creo que el instrumento lo he encontrado. Now that you're familiar with the individual instruments, let's hear what they sound like together. Genre in itself, we combine a lot of like folk music, but we also incorporate jazz. We incorporate music from like the Caribbean, South America, the United States. You know, it's a music that often speaks to the world. If anybody can come here, mariachi, and it's a very joyful, yeah, music to, to be around. And it's one of those genres where it really lifts up your spirit. It, that's one of the main things about mariachi is that it's meant to do that. Why we have mariachi for almost any event that you can think of, right? It does not matter. You would always find mariachi there. I mean, really, it's all just sticking to my roots. I mean, being proud of where I'm from, what my family has gone through to be here, of course, and just having that emotional connection with them. 